Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura and I used to work in a sewing factory and the one thing I learned in the sewing factory is something that I still do every day in my sewing and it is called chain piecing. Now if you're not familiar with chain piecing, well I'm going to explain it to you and if you are, you know already how valuable of a time saver it is in your sewing and it saves a lot of frustration. Let me show you. So I have a stack of rectangles that I want to sew together and I'm sewing all of the seams here. So in order to save time I'm going to chain piece. Now chain piecing you are going to start with your first piece and you sew it down the seam. When you get off of the fabric normally we pull it out and we trim it. Then we start with the next piece. Well, by doing that, you have a chance of the thread coming out of this needle. And often it will do that. And well, then we get frustrated and we have to rethread the needle. So by chain piecing, we're going to avoid that. So the first seam we're going to sew. When we get off the fabric, without removing this fabric, you lift up your foot, you place the fabric underneath. Now you don't have to worry about sewing this last piece of fabric because it's already past the needle. And you're going to sew the next piece. When you get off that fabric, you lift up your foot and you start your next piece. Now you will just keep doing this until all of those squares are done. So then the last one you just pick up and remove like you normally do. Then you will just be able to take the stack in front of you and just pull it towards you and you will be able to cut the threads all in between and you have them all together. Now this saves a lot of time because you're not having to stop and start and trim off each edge. The threads between the two are very very little so you won't have to trim the threads off and well you never have to worry about the thread coming out of the needle. So I have the whole strip sewn together and it took no time at all. The bonus is I did not have to trim off all of those little threads on the end. Now you can do this not only in quilting but you can do this for garment construction. You would just do for example one leg and then pick up the other piece and continue to do it and then just trim off as you go. You don't always have to use the sewing machine. You can do the same method on your serger. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.